Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. And we are Mukbang. And today we got us some authentic Carlos Jr. Carlos Jun. Awesome. Mm, we don't come here very often. We don't come here very often, but looking at the menu, like we should be doing this more often because you guys know I love spicy stuff and a lot of their menu has like all these jalapeno burgers, all this spicy goodness. Yeah. So, I got a, a, something called like a big chicken filet, I think is what it's called. It's just like a, a fried chicken sandwich, but like the times I've had it here, it's like legit. It's like a big ass real bomb chicken breast. Yeah. So. Let me guys show you. That looks pretty, pretty sexy. Mm-hmm. I got what they call a fiery... Fiery, famous... Fiery, famous star. I think so, yeah. Yeah, a double, which is uh, two patties, their spicy cheese sauce, pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, um, lettuce, tomato, and onion. And mine's just like the chicken with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and that's it. It's really simple, but it sounded so good. I'm going in. I got some Chris cut fries and she got mm. some onion rings. Well, we got Chris cut fries and onion rings because we're sharing. I see the jalapenos. Yum. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Are they spicy? The jalapenos are. Okay. You want to try mine? Maybe try over there because there's mayonnaise here. Okay. Yeah, I got no mayonnaise. It's yeesh. Why are you eating it upside down? Crazy. Mmm, that's really good. Is it is, right? So good. Mmm. It's weird that we don't come here more often because their meat is really good. It tastes it's like, like a really, restaurant burger. Mmm, -hmm. this hits a spot. We got Coke. Sorry. And I have, I have ketchup here if you want to dip. This is how I eat my um, ketchup and mustard when I'm on the go, guys. So I punch her a little hole. <laughs> and as I go, I'll take a bite and then take a little bit of mustard. So weird. He does this at home too, so it's not when he's on the go. This is some ranch. I've never had onion rings at uh, this place, Carl's Jr. But um, I never get onion rings at restaurants in general, so. Mm -hmm. They good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And if you hear a strange cooing noise in the back, it's <laughs> Teddy like sobbing. He just ate and had two different doses of treats. He did yell at the window though that he also wanted a fiery star. <laughs> and then the, the guy who took the order was like small, medium, large, and we're like, no, nothing. <laughs> uh, that's a dog, sir. You're, you're taking an order from a dog. The Chris Pratt fries are really good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also have like this, it's like a half um, Carl, Carlos Jr. and a half, I think it's called Green Burrito. Yeah. And like, we we were done ordering and then we were like, all of that sounds like really good too. They yeah. have like chicken taquitos and quesadillas or whatnot, burritos, obviously. Have you guys been to Green Burrito? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. It's good. This is so good, you guys. If you haven't ordered this, it's like they make it hella fresh. Like, it's like really legit. A big, full, bomb chicken breast. Back like uh, maybe a year ago when they came out with the, um, with the Beyond or Impossible burgers, you know? Uh, Carl's Jr. has a really good one. 
Oops. The, yeah, the Carl's Jr. Beyond Burger is bad. Right. My phone's always dead, guys. We don't usually film on my phone. Look, it's got like some cheesy sauce. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's good. It's good. Mm. You know what I like to do is, um, I like to dip a little bit of ketchup and then a little bit of ranch in that order because it's okay if I get ketchup in my ranch, but it's not okay if I get ranch in his ketchup, so. Like, look at that thick boy. Am I doing there it? There you go, yeah. Look, finally look learned. It. It's a thick boy. Man. Yeah, Emma goes, oh, they have a double of your burger, or a triple. I was like, well, I mean, if you're going to twist my arm, What'd you get go the for double? a double, yeah. yeah. I want to save room for, for um, dinner tonight, so. I know, that's our whole thing. Like, how can we fit two fat-ass meals in <laughs> one day? Yeah, this is good. It's hitting the spot. The jalapenos are really good. The sauce is really good. I was afraid it was going to be like mayonnaise -y, you know, because your boy doesn't like mayonnaise. But no, it's really good. Uh, again, the meat is just delicious. Like, I like Burger King meat because it has like that frame, flame broiled taste. Mm -hmm. And this has it. But I want to say it's even better. Yeah. We, we really don't come here enough. I mean, it's because like we don't eat a whole lot of fast food. Okay. But the service here is so good. Like, the food's always fresh. And we probably told you this before, but when, there's a dude who works at this location. And he's incredible. And he's like, it's the type of service you would expect at, like, a five-star restaurant. Like, he's just so great. He's always working. He's always busting his, his behind. And so, you know... We're talking about how I care in sometimes, and so I actually wrote a letter to corporate about that guy. Yeah, so it, it what, what would be the opposite of Karen? You know, like people need to come up with that because a Nurik, it's done, a Nurak. Um, but yeah, so it was funny because, like, I just wrote the letter to corporate and I gave as much detail about the guy. I think the receipt had his name or something. And so it's just kind of evidence that like people don't do that very often because then Jose and I went through like the drive through like, I don't know, a month later and he saw us. He's like, you guys, were you guys the one that wrote the letter? And he was so like, he was so happy. It was such a nice thing that he was like, that we could make that kind of impact on his life, you know? And he deserved it. He did. Yeah, because we have a lot of trouble getting foods from like chains or like fast food restaurants out here i don't know it's just it's kind of the thing with being in like a metropolitan city you know it's not like you know you go into the subway and it's like your neighbor who's working behind the counter it's you know it's not it's, you don't have that vibe out here so when you get good service it like is a big deal and like i know i've said in some of the videos like uh we don't wanna, we don't want to come off as like debbie downers about like service and stuff but like we're just being real if we had a somewhat bad experience why not just talk about it you know we want to commiserate with you guys just mm -hmm. like we want to celebrate with you guys you know let us know about your horrible experiences mm -hmm. let us know about your good experiences yes mm. this is so good Jose is such a perfectionist with our videos, like, he has this whole setup, but, like, I think this kind of works, right? I mean, you don't see the food sitting in front of us, but is that okay? Should I be going like this? That's not better, is it? I don't know. That was before. Should we just line up some fries just to sit in the foreground? No.
catch up it up. Are there any other restaurants that have Chris Cut fries other than Carl Jr.? Um, Chick fil A, but we don't have Chick fil A. Chick fil A, yeah. Chick fil A is fries. Yeah, I wish so we had a, a Chick fil A close I to really us or an Arby's. Ugh. Arby's, man. Vanessa White Randomness came out with an Arby's video recently, and I was just like, not there. She showed some advertisement where there was like a baked potato. I'm like, what the hell? Wendy's has baked potatoes. Oh, yeah. I've, I've never had one, though. You should try that sometime. Wendy's baked potatoes are good. Wendy's chili. I I did try that. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Yeah. I'm, like, not a chili snob. I like, I like chili. So, like, I don't have, like, high standards for my chili. Not against opening up a can of Hormel, tossing it on a hot dog, which we had it. Jose ordered what sounded like a really epic hot dog mm -hmm. um, at a restaurant we went to on Friday night with my brother, and my sister, and um, my little niece, who's honestly the cutest thing ever, and my nephew too, who's the second cutest thing ever. No, I'm just kidding. They're equally cute, but in different ways. But, um, yeah, so he ordered what sounded like was going to be an epic hot dog, but one of the things that was supposed to come on it was bacon. Well, that was the first, like, descriptor. It was, like, a bacon hot dog wrapped, wrapped hot in bacon. Yeah. You know, I was, like, sold. And then it came. No bacon. They didn't even tell me about it. And yeah, it wasn't like, oh, we ran out of bacon. Yeah, and instead, they added avocado, which uh, I don't know how, about, how I feel about avocados on a hot dog. Sorry. It was like, most people, I would think, like, love avocado, but there are definitely a lot of people who do not like avocado, so. Mm, it was presumptuous of them. And... Yeah, the hot dog was just, like, missing other things, too. So he was kind of bummed out about that. But we still had a good time. Yeah. And, I mean, a hot dog is a hot dog is a hot dog. It was hot still good, good, yeah. Stop that. Oh, getting full. And Yeah, me too. I'm glad because I'm um, just about done. This will be the the chicken for the dogs. You can't see that. Put your hand behind. Oh, there oh. you go. Mm. Yeah, at the restaurant we went to, I also got a crispy chicken sandwich. You're sensing a theme here. I like chicken sandwiches. I like crispy chicken sandwiches. And um, it was pretty good. Um, it was like a Korean crispy chicken sandwich, which is kind of funny because on our last video, I did Korean chicken wings. Right. But it was good. It had like kimchi and like some sort of like tangy spicy sauce on the chicken. And their fries were so good. I'm like, I was this close to getting something else. And I'm so glad I didn't because I am stuffed. Really and like cool. around the corner, there's like a Krispy Kreme. And I was Ugh. this close to being like, well, should we just get some donuts now and, yeah. or later? But now um, I'm going to pass. Somebody recommended Krispy Kreme. We still have to do that sometime. Mm -hmm. We will, but... Well, Krispy Kreme is giving out free donuts for those who are vaccinated. So maybe Which we'll just cash in. We both have our vaccine cards right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to show them, though, but that you can't see it anyway. It's a card. I heard some like, we were not supposed to show them. I didn't like click it to figure out why. But you know. That's how we get news these days, right? You read a headline and you believe it without reading any part of the article. You read a tweet. Yeah. We have um a few onion rings left over. And a few Chris Cut fries. Like honestly, this is a hearty meal. I don't think yeah. I can finish this. We'll and, make it home. And for those that like to know how much the meal was, mm. it was about $32. 
yeah, for medium meals, which medium sodas meals. are huge. So yeah, guys, that was uh, Carl's, Carlos Jr. <laughs> in the car. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hello, hello, consider subscribing. We've got more videos coming out, as always, we will be. Nothing.